So we're gonna look at how to make a comprehensive progress report for your students. You wanna go over here on Power Teacher Pro down to reports, and you want to choose individual student report. Now you've got several choices that you can make. You can give it a title. You can decide what classes you want to include. Right now I'm just including one class, but you can include more than one class. Um, this is where you would say include students full schedule if you're wanting all of their subjects. So be sure you check that. Do not check support uh, separate report by student. If you do this, it is going to give you an individual file in a zipped file, and that can be hundreds of individual files. So definitely don't check that. I'm going to go here and decide how do I want it laid out, what um, order do I want my assignments in, and then what data do I want, um, course grades and attendance, if you want any comments. Um, if you're using standards, you may want standards final grades. You definitely want assignments. If you want any comments there or category totals, you can check that as well. Um, you can say you want to show percentages if you want that. If you have any assignments that have no data associated, you can do that as well. And then you do want to decide, you know, what is the reporting term that you're going to use. And um, there's some other filters here as well. Now, you want to go up here to this next tab for students. If you're including all the students in this one class, you can do that. If you only want one student or a few students, you would uncheck this and select whatever student you want. And then the last thing up here is format. Um, this particular one, you can be landscape or portrait. This is only available in a PDF. You want a page break between students. So this is really what you're wanting when you separate the students. Um, and then you want to include a signature line. So when I say run report, it should give me an option up here where this bell is to see what reports I have running. Um, this one is still running. I can refresh the page. I can go and work elsewhere and it will let me know when it's ready. And eventually it will be ready. And it's ready. So when I click on the report, it downloads the PDF. And now I should have like geometry and geography and um, PE. And you can see English. So it's got all of, if I wanted percentages, that's why that's there. Any flags or comments that I want there as well. Um, and so it shows all of that student's classes, and then it goes to the next student. So that would be how you would handle doing a progress report that is comprehensive.